All right, hey everybody, back with another uh, article here for you. And uh, before anybody gives me crap about ads on this, this is one of those ones where Fox Business, I cannot open a page unless they make me turn off my ad blocker. You don't get the option. So I can't bring you the article without there being some ads on them. So you're just going to have to deal with it. But insurance, auto insurance is skyrocketing again. They're going to go up. They're expected to go up again. Uh, where did it say here? They expect 22% by year end. They're going to give us some excuses, and they're the same junk BS pee down your back and tell you it's raining excuses that they always did they're going to say that uh, it's due to the fact that the uh, country's grappling with the shortage of mechanics uh, who drive repair costs even higher no the problem with mechanics is people don't the dealerships don't pay mechanics good enough to keep them anymore okay they treat them like dirt and they don't pay them enough money and they can't get enough people don't want to be a mechanic anymore because they're, they, the industry is underpaid overworked and you know peed on basically so uh, that's the problem there they they also say that it's uh, the result of both supply chains disruptions and unseasonably, unseasonably high demand resulted in vehicles that are more expensive and costlier to replace. No, it didn't. Those days are over. This whole excuse of using a pandemic as an excuse doesn't fly anymore. It's not acceptable by any means. These prices are stupid. It all boils down to one thing, greed, okay? Insurer losses result from a combination of inf in inflatory... Infl Inflationary pressures uh, like rising, be, we're not buying it. We're not buying it at all. All it is is just pure greed. Okay, they expect we also experienced tornadoes and hail and flooding and things like that that were that weren't necessarily a major threat before. Yes, they were. The severity of storms. No, I'm not buying it. Okay, these things were always an issue. I'm not, it's all a joke. It's it's a complete. It's a scam is what it is, and we have to deal with it. We don't have a choice. Okay, here it is. And auto insurance is up by 20, going up another 22%. Plus, it went up 20-something percent last year. Uh, it's a, uh, it was a 15% there. So, it's going up 48% compared to 2021 is what we're going to pay at now, and we have to do this. We have to just sit back and take it and deal with it because that's the way the world works. Very upsetting. But on some interesting news that I want your comments on and your information, I just did an article or a video on this, whether it's out before or after this, but the 2025 GMC ter terrain ditches the push button shifter. Finally, somebody is going this route, and it makes it made me want to dive into this and look at this some more. So we know it's getting rid of it, and it's actually going back to a column shifter. You can see on here there is a column shifter. Where is that one? Can I blow it up? No, I cannot, but there it is right here. You can see this column shifter on here now to shift, which frees up all this space on here. I never understood. If you're going to go to electronic shifters, which everybody is today, they're all going to electronic um, shifters, why not just put it somewhere? RAM, for many years, has had their 1500 series with a twist knob shifter, which I will show you. And if you're going to go to an electronic shifter, Put it somewhere out of the way and inconvenient if it's not going to be down there where you're going to feel it. Go with it. Put it on a column like they did here or put it on a knob on a dash. Okay, but get stop wasting very precious real estate for things that you don't need. What do we mean? Let's take a look at some of these other ones. Here's how it used to be. It was up here and it took away all this space that could have been buttons, but at least it didn't take up any real estate down here on a control module down here or on a console down here, which is where a lot of shifters are. But they put it here, but it was this really funky, like Honda has this really weird push button, this, this system. Well, anyway, it's gone. Okay, they're not doing that anymore, and I'm, I'm okay with that being gone. Now they're putting it on a column like we see right here, and it's going to be there, and it's going to work like it's had for 100 years, even if it is electronic. But like the setup there. But look at how Honda does it here. Okay, this is the one in the Honda um, right here. You can see, again, wasted space. You know, I mean, look at how much things could be put here on this console, let alone drinks spilling on it and things like that. This doesn't need to be here, and it's just really weird, funky. I don't need that. We don't need to have this technology. Get rid of this and make it so much simpler, okay? It doesn't have to be this way. RAM... Uh, has always done very good. Now here's a shift or a column shifter here. We can look at. See, they got a shift on a column for their 3,500, 2,500 trucks. 1,500s get a knob, but at least here, you know, I like it being on a column. Okay, when it's on a column, you don't have any of this BS taking up space that you do like down here when it's down here. See, all this is wasted space. Now, if this is truly a mechanical or felt mechanical shifter, and I, I like that in a lot of vehicles, it's actually good. But even here, we don't need all this wasted space for this. 
It doesn't have to be this way, okay? Again, wasted real estate on a very prime real estate council drives me nuts that we got to deal with that. And Ram has done very well. Um, you know, column shifters have worked for a very long time. We look at this one here like this, okay? Compact, it doesn't need to take up a lot of room. This is in a Jeep, but I like this. When I shift my Jeep, I actually feel it go through the gears. Doon, 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 doon. And I can go from, you know, I feel it. And I know reverse, if I got to rock that truck back and forth, reverse to drive, very lock, you feel each maneuver and I know where it is. I like that setup a lot, okay? And, uh, um, these electric shifters like this, these weird electronic funky things, like uh, it takes up less real estate, and I do like that a lot. I like how little, how how less real estate is taken up by these. Um, so that's a good thing, but these things are really weird to get used to. Uh, my dad has this in his Cadillac, and I've uh, I've drove it quite a bit, and uh, and I've also this is what's in when I've tested like the uh, the new ZR2 uh, Silverados and things like this. A lot of in an even a Ford, the Lariat ones go to these. These are weird, funky little shifters. Take a little getting used to, but I do like that they don't have. Um, that they don't take up a lot of real estate, but they're very weird. To you can't rock a vehicle with one of these very good. Okay, the way the shift patterns are and the things they do, they're kind of funky and off road. These don't function very well. The the way this layout is on them is not not as uniform or as quick as you would like. They're just weird. Um, but I, I, off road, I want this. I want simple. I want functional and I want effective. But the uh, um, where was I at on here and Ram one, hold on. Um, see Ram has had for a long time, they've had their shift knob set up here like this. Okay. Where it's on the dash. I like this system. If you're going to be electronic, do this. This is perfect. And notice it's all in order and I don't got to do any of this weird funky crap like this to go into different modes and touch for park and all this stupid, crazy BS stuff in here. Give me this where I can turn a knob. I can take it from there and I can just yank that knob, slam it to the right, and all of a sudden I'm in drive and it's that easy. And if I want to go back from between drive and reverse, it's simple to turn that knob and rock the vehicle back and forth. And it is mounted up out of the way on the center console or on the dash up here. So it is not on the console taking up all that real estate down here like these ones do. Okay, see now we see a lot of them doing the same thing, but they're putting them down here. Doesn't take up as much space as shifters do like this and have for many years. But again, there's no reason to give this space up for this to be down here. And then people looking down there at it, put it on a dash. Ram crushed it with this. Ram does it right. Put it here. Make it simple. Make it functional. I got all my four-wheel drive features right there too. This is how it should be done. If you're going to electric shifters, all of you manufacturers, do it this way. My best advice for you, because we don't want we we don't like this crap. Okay, we don't want to deal with this, but we definitely cannot stand this. This is bad. This, this is not good under any circumstances. Fix that. And GMC said we are going to fix it, and we are getting rid of it, and it is gone, and we are not going to do that. People don't like it as much, so we are going back to the beautiful, simple column shifter, and we are going to open up this all this space here for you and give you all these features, no pass-throughs down here, so or no crap going under the dash or trance hump, so you got all this storage under here. We're giving you what you're looking for. Put all the actual real buttons you need right here as solid toggles. Make this thing right. GM. Uh, GMC killed it with this in the terrain with the new design of this. Love it. And I love how they're listening to their customers and doing the right things here. So let me know what you think. How do you feel about these? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.